100 tubers and geek viewers of the world, Mr. Dark Phoenix is back to bring you guys the newest episode of The Flash. If this is the first time you're catching my channel, please hit subscribe. I review Game of Thrones, Gotham, Lucifer, Supergirl, The Flash, Aidens of S.H.I.E.L.D., Teen Wolf, Arrow, Legend of Tomorrow, we got some Netflix on here, we got some Vixen, my hot button comic book news and reactions, hot button comic book news, and my weekly show where I give you guys opinions and theories, and if you want to see more of me on a video game basis, I stream games on Twitch. My link is going to be in the description bar right here, it is twitch.tv slash MrDarkPhoenix. I would love to have you guys a part of both of my nerdy geeky families on here. We are a growing family and I cannot thank you guys anymore, so if you haven't already, Hit subscribe, and if you can, follow me on Twitch for awesome stuff. But, without further ado, let's jump right on into this episode of The Flash. If this is the first time you're catching my channel, be wary of spoilers. This is going to be a spoiler review, and if you have seen it, let's jump right on in to the newest episode of The Flash, Magenta. I thought it was Magneta. Um, judge me if you want, but I heard of a uh, metal-bending character, so... My mind automatically jumped to Magneto, because it has Nito at the end. Or she could have been Polaris, but she has purple hair, so. She had the purple eyes of a Targaryen. Bear this episode. Harry and Jesse Quick return from Earth 2, and they don't need help from another speedster, because Jesse Quick is a speedster. And one of the best parts is that they know all about Flashpoint. It's like, they walk in, they're like, hmm, you were decorated, hmm. You can smell the hint of fucked timeline in this bitch. It goes with the feng shui of, you know, unprotected sex with our timeline. Thank God other timelines are not affected by Flashpoint. A lot of people ask me how come they're not affected. Is it because they're on a different Earth and their Earth runs on a different timeline? Don't get me wrong, other species could probably fuck up the timeline, but Barry's the only one that does it. On a, you know, need to fuck, need to know basis. Uh, Wally wants speed, and he's so salty. <laughs> he's so salty, he didn't get his speed. He had it, and then they took it away from him. Hashtag, black speedsters matter. But, it was just so, he's just there, like, he's happy for his friend, but then on one end, he's like, I want mine too. Why don't I get my speed force? Mmm, pouty face. Ah, uh, speed force hates Australians. The assistant is an asshole. It's like, hmm. I'm a meta. Huh? Let's see. What should I do with this girl that I know can control metal and through a lamp post at her house? Oh, I know. I'm gonna talk down to her and yell at her. He better be the other half of Doctor Alchemy, like the by day persona. And then at night, he puts on the Reaper mask from Overwatch and just touches people with the Philosopher's Stone to give them powers. Because otherwise, he needs to be murdered, like, ASAP. He needs to die. Like, he just needs to be like, Oh no, the building crashed on you. Oh no. How tragic. They never explained what happened to the metahumans at the bottom of their little jail. Like, where's Black Siren? They'll probably address that in Arrow 100. Uh, the Titanic floats. <laughs> Magenta makes the Titanic float on air. It's like, this really would have helped Titanic back in the day had metahumans existed. Or did they? Aliens. Metahumans. Then Jesse goes to help, and it's really cool because she's her dad's like, run, Jesse. Run. That's his thing. Run, Barry, run. Run, Jesse, run. Pretty sure he's going to say run, Wally, run. So... It's just a, a lot of things about Earth 2, Harrison Wells, just telling people to run. <laughs> just run. He needs to be a fitness coach. Like, run, fatty. Run. And you're like, I guess. You have so much faith in me, I guess I'll start running. Jesse's suit looks beautiful. We've only seen, like, this part and the Flash insignia. But this shit looks beautiful. Like, uh, I want it. I want to wear it. I don't care. I can't wait to see how she looks in the full suit. I think that may be next week. I'm not too sure, but I definitely know next week we get introduced to Mirror Master, so please hit subscribe so you don't miss out on that. Oh, and just one more thing. Uh, since Dr. Alchemy is touching people with the magic stone, I feel like Wally's gonna be like, hey, you got any of that speed force for a brother? And he's gonna be like, you want this? He's going to be like, yeah, and it's going to be like, boop, Speed Force is all yours, and Wally's like, grr. It would be really cool, oh my god. It would be, if you guys don't know, Wally goes through like, 
this metamorphosis, more metamorphosical. This metamorphosis transformation, where it's like he's got like red and black scales on him. He's got claws, and he looks like red in the face. He's got like a really black evil kind of suit on. So it's like if the show has him do that to him at first, oh my god, that is amazing. That is beautiful theory crafting. I love you guys. What do you guys think is going to happen? Please comment down below let me know. Don't forget we have a new episode of Arrow tomorrow so don't forget to hit subscribe for that too. Give me a big thumbs up, comment, rate, subscribe to their awesome nerdy friends and always remember that through good times and bad times remember to geek out and enjoy your lives and I'll catch you guys next time for another great video. Hey guys, thank you always for checking out the end of the video. I really appreciate your help. Uh, if anything, if you can, I have a Patreon website. It is in the description bar below. If you guys don't know, Patreon is a site where you could help creators like me do a lot more with help from pledging and being my Patreon. It's a dollar to thirty dollars. Anything you can give would be amazing. I, if anything, I always appreciate your views, your likes, your shares, your comments, and all that good stuff. I love you guys so much. And always remember the good times and bad times. Remember to geek out and enjoy your lives. And I'll catch you guys next time with another great video.